Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Texas Rangers have been helping out down here. Big, big uh, uh, instance of like 500 Rangers came down to try to uh, disperse a caravan right. I know recently, Dan. But, well, you can feel the frustration on the Border Patrol. They are, they are incredible people, but they are, I mean, they're, they're not going to do it. They're livid. I don't want to say they're overwhelmed because they can handle no, it. No, they're amazing. Um, but they can handle their everything they can handle they're handling. Think about this, Laura. And by the way, welcome to Texas. Thank welcome you. to the border. All those people in the background are right. trying to get they're in. They're coming in. They're coming in at the, legal they're coming way, in the legal way. The legal way. way. Yeah. And so let's look at Texas. In El Paso, we're apprehending in the El Paso sector about 930 people a day. Uh, we're going to approach a million people apprehended this year, plus on the border from California to Brownsville and Texas. And we think, I was talking to law enforcement, do we get one out of every three or four? Yeah, That's I what they this. were just saying. 6,000, right. they think, in this sector alone, yes, the have, have, have been, they're calling gotaways. Yeah. So, and so, there's probably more than 6,000. So the real number is much bigger than a million uh, coming in this year. That's, that's why I've said to you that we have close to 10% of our population now is here illegally. You know, there was a poll recently that 152 million people in the world want to come to America, and 40 million of those live in Central America, and they're coming. Last month, Laura, the big change, I came to Del Rio at this sector 12 years ago for the first time, worked in the bushes at night with the Border Patrol and our local sheriffs and DPS, and at that time, there were mostly single males crossing. Last month, we had 30,000 single males we caught, but we had 63,000 families, and that's what's happening, and, and as we've said on your show before, the drug cartels use these people to to distract and take up the time of the Border Patrol, and they run all the drugs and everyone else up the middle. Uh, the politicians in Washington, yes. give me a couple of ideas, solutions. Well, first of all, talking about politicians, I saw you had one of the Castro brothers on earlier. I could hear. No, they, they uh, were as tape. They yeah. wouldn't come on. So, so think about this. We have Republicans and Democrats in Texas. The Republicans come down here and see this. The Democrats come here, here and ignore it. And that's what they're doing in Washington. So what does Washington have to do? Number one, we have to change the asylum laws. Number two, they have to give Trump his money so that we can have fencing, which is higher. This is more here where we have a, a border crossing. But in the areas of no man's land, the fence is much higher, much tougher to climb. So you have to have the fencing. Uh, and you have to give these Border Patrol more assistance. And by the way, to the Democrats, get off their back. You know that, that story you were yeah. telling earlier about that, that young girl yeah. who drowned, and here we had an agent in the middle of the night putting his life on the line. In the and you, you were on the river today. You oh, saw no. that raging river today. But, but like, I'll tell you, the 21 days, you've yes. got to be able to hold people you longer than 21 days. We have one federal judge. I'm right. looking at the camera. One federal judge, Dolly Gee or G, whatever it is. That one judge is responsible for much of this crisis, people yes. dying, children uh, being being temporarily sometimes because right. someone's down the river, another one's up the river, separated. The, uh, looking in the eyes of the children today was a heartbreak. Did it you? is a as, a as a mother, and as, it's a heartbreak for the children. And I also have heartbreak for the American people and the kids in public schools yeah. and overcrowded. I mean, but it's a heartbreak to see this happen to children, that they're being used. That's why, you know, when I was on your show a few weeks ago, I said that the Democrats, I think, are in charge of modern day slavery today. All these, I know, yeah, and I bet you, you saw this. I bet you saw this. There were adults with children. You could tell the children weren't really their children. There was they one, that, one in particular was. You they knew they, they were sex trafficking. Yeah. Democrats have got to realize this is a national crisis. It's not manufactured. I mean, we are being overrun, Laura. But thank you for continuing yep. the story and telling the truth. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop. No, you can't and, stop. Uh, and Texas is on the front lines. We're, we're the front line state. Dan, thank you so much. Yes.